What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your host with the most humble double, and you're currently watching Tomboy TV. Welcome back to another episode of Supreme Live Cops, and today was week, Supreme Week Two of SS19, and it was a pretty uh, slept on week. To be honest, it was very slept on by a lot of people. But if you did sleep, I regret to tell you that you should have. You definitely should not have slept on this week. There was definitely a good amount of money to be made, and at the moment, stuff is going for the pretty high number. I mean, much more than I at least expected. S logos, eh, but the Lux hoodies, eh, not that bad at all. Well, then a few of the other pieces, like the jackets and all that. But anyways, if you guys do want to see me talk about aftermarket prices and all that, check out tomorrow's video, which will be a hold or sell now. I just want to get you guys out there, because I know a lot of you are interested and going to be asking a lot of good questions about how these items are going to be doing, when you should sell them, when you should hold them, where you should sell them, and all that good stuff to minimize fees and maximize profits you know i got you the basic economics oh uh, that'll be tomorrow though but today it was the live cop and it was successful i did definitely cop uh piece pieces i guess you could say pieces uh but yo anyways yo, I, before i do start this actual video i do want to say a few things that first off me and a few of my classmates are actually doing really for life which you don't know it's a fundraising event for uh cancer and we're actually collecting it uh in the name of one of my uh, classmates that did pass away last year uh, 2018 in 2018 summer of 2018 uh he did pass away and we're collecting it in his name so i'd appreciate if you guys could donate a dollar too and shout out though shout out for real to the people who have already donated i appreciate it so much the funds go straight to uh, the american cancer research society uh our team is called phenops purple lights in honor of uh the kid so anyways yo i would appreciate if you could donate a dollar or two you don't have to though i'm not pressuring nobody but some people have donated like 15 to 30 dollars i'm like yo that's wild so thank you thank you thank you thank you so much if you have do greatly appreciate it so anyways second announcement that i do have is that uh, my discord was cooking today we were cooking we were cooking i will show some success over here basically if you do want to join i know a lot of you probably already heard this but you know it does help and a lot of people if you have already heard this you probably have joined by now and if you have i definitely am sure you do not regret it because it is free you do not have to pay any kind of money and i provide all the how to cop guides free links and all that good stuff so not me only though a few of the other mods though we do get all that good stuff we also have an, a shipping label plug ebay view bot we have a trivia guide we have uh Dude, we have I'm forgetting shit that we have we have legit checks. We have all everything we got We got a bunch of good shit We the only thing we're missing though at the moment is some monitors But don't worry I'm actually working on getting that incorporated into the discord once it will cost some money though Which I will make probably a separate premium cook group But you know, I will talk about that later when I actually do have everything finalized. But anyways, yo, we're getting into it exactly what you guys are waiting for so i'm gonna put you guys on the screen right now so if you guys can see it is approximately 10 59 10 11 12 in the morning this is that was accessories and this is sweatshirts hey yo you know one of my best advice to give you guys on drop days to so, uh, find a youtube video like it and comment i would definitely recommend mine uh beforehand you know that's the little intro for yesterday's video <laughs> shout out Blueface. uh but yo anyways i do recommend that because it does help with capture prevention however it has not been helping me that much lately because that's the best advice sign in sign out uh prove that you're a human by uh actually liking commenting on a video it helps because that's what captcha basically is proving that you are human and not a robot which bots are so we do have it uh, that's exactly what i did and we have about 10 ish 13 12 11 seconds left to drop day and my first idea was to go for a size small hoodie uh, exactly to be exact it was the s logo in the red and you'll see we about to get into it yo watch this so two seconds it actually did a load early for me two seconds early red one i did not know it was the gucci colorway i got a small at car boom check out now boom yo watch this watch this watch oh shit what a letdown what a damn letdown on that piece man i i kind of was giving it to myself but anyways from here on out i'll talk about that later i was going straight for the band-aids man band-aids i knew everyone was going to go for those because yo it was like the shit of the week and like everyone could have copped it. it was not expensive and selling out but as you can see this is where i did face a little bit of lag and unfortunately the highest quantity you could add was four six dollars each simple math 24 dollars. even i could do that math uh bus tax was a proxy you guys can't see it on the screen but it was estimated to be around four dollars and then i got hit with the capture that ass supreme why'd you hit me with the capture again second week in a row unfortunately i felt the first one i'm not going with captures at all because i'm always rushing but i did I was able to verify it oh uh, it started uh, said please wait you know this is the time of like you either do it or you don't do it uh, and i didn't know at this point whether they were going to be sitting or selling out on the site these mandates because i knew everyone's going to be going for it please wait processing real quick and there you can see my order confirmation as you saw estimated tax was three dollars and 54 cents 
I wish you could have added eight into the freaking cart, but you couldn't. So anyways, originally what I did plan on going on, I'll retract a bit, was the red logo, S logo hoodie in red. Mainly because it did not sell out fast in UK, and I was like, yo, I might as well send it. Because S logos and other sizes were already not doing well. Lowest asks were already pretty low. Undercutting was a serious issue. They have gone up, though, ever since uh, re drop day. But you're still making basically lunch money, like 20-ish dollars. Which isn't bad. Money is money. Don't get me wrong. But the red one, dude, I did not realize it was the Gucci colorway until freaking, like, 20 minutes i'd say before drop i was looking at the uk uh links and how it was set up i was like yo no way they actually it was, it was gucci because you know on the actual preview on the supreme site you couldn't see what colorway it was and i was surprised but anyways i did go back to band-aids they were sitting in stock for quite some time but they did they did surprisingly sell out under 30 minutes if i'm not mistaken like under 20 minutes if that oh we got a trench coat that I accidentally pressed on but yo here is the freaking you can see up top to the left that we're about to go on to is the vance and leather jacket white sold out and actually, small sold out very fast. The black did not sell it as fast. And as I said in my retail resale estimations video, this is one of the most fire vans and jackets they've done in a very long time. Just the retail price is killing me. And they're not even reselling for that much last time I checked. They could be different, but you know what I said. Check out my holder sell video. I will be going on to prices more after that. But you do, I do try to go through the full entire drop list to see what else they had, how it's selling, how it's set in sight, whether it's set or whether it's sold out mad quick. And the Lux hoodie, told y'all, in the natural colorway, that's what everybody wants. Not everybody, but a lot of people wanted it. And that's what sold out first in the small colorway. I'm almost certain that's what sold out first. One of the first pieces. They sold out faster than the box logos. Believe it or not, though, the Lux hoodie sold out faster than the box logos. Bots were working like a blessing this time. And uh, we just went right through it. So there was also some other pieces that do go into the new tab which is where all coincidentally the new stuff dropped so you can see the full setup right here and the starter jackets were also surprising surprising money maker as well i did not think they're gonna be going for that much of course as i said they were a fire design just the coloring itself i wish they could have executed it a little bit better with the like, red or green branding my biggest shocker though was the measuring tapes bro how the hell did they sell it that fast i understand retail was mad cheap for 16 dollars but they are literally this big bro you guys can't see but they're like four quarters together there's it's mad mad small but what's interesting is also that the uk ones that they released in the eu uh are in meters i think is one meter and in the us it's one yard so that's what it is if you guys were wondering how long it measures and i was hoping for a bag restock as you can see i did click on the bags but unfortunately well fortunately ish all bags did not restock i mean they are still kind of sitting in sight i was hoping for an ice blue restock Shit did not end up happening, but we do got the red, black, and green still. They're sitting on the site. So if you do want to actually go buy that, make sure you go onto the site right now. You can easily secure the item. But we do go onto the rest of the items that did end up releasing this week. Some surprising ones, some not so surprising ones. That's logo once again, man. This this shit this shit fire, bro. The red and green colorway. Not the red and green. Yeah, the red and green colorway. What am I saying? It is fire. The other colorway is not a big fan unless it's the black and brown one, which was which was actually the first one to leak on a Supreme Skater. Damn, they 168 retail plus shipping was 178 plus tax was around 180-ish dollars. Actually, yeah, just about because surprisingly I'll get into at the end about sales tax and how it's different from when everyone was geeking out. Oh, uh, so we do go on to the different t-shirts. We do got the long sleeve, which was this. This one was my favorite colorway, and I love that camo. The Digi Camo print is a banger. Uh, the other two jackets are still well. The black one, medium large, was sitting. White one was all sold out. That Supreme patch on both sides, though, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Uh, as I go run down the list, the starter jackets, though, the white and black one. Good shit to you if you copped in a large or XL. That shit flipping. Even in a small and a medium, I'm pretty sure too. But I know large XL and smalls are flipping for the high right now. So good thing if you did cop it in a black or white. But if you copped any of the two, it's crazy how just a simple colorway could change it all, which it does. Uh, but it completely changed the game. The rest are going sitting on site or under retail. And of course, this was the limited item. I forgot about the Tims. I don't know how I could have forgotten about these Tims, bro. I wanted them so, so bad. And luckily, they were still available. So I added 11 and a half to cart in the Cheetah colorway. Put into my details, yo. I was, I was, I was gassed that they were sitting on site, bro. I wanted them so bad, and I processed. But shit, yo, I forgot to put in my car details. Ah, now I'm playing, yo. They were absolutely disgusting. Still sitting on site, but a size did sell out. I'm pretty sure a size eight did sell out. And uh, I think the black colorway. I'm pretty sure it's the black colorway. I do not know why. Do not ask me why anybody bought that. But you know, it's, it's personal style. It depends how you want to do it. Then we go on to the Cloud Arc T. Um, multiple colorways. Next one was the first one to sell out. The red, I mean, the orange and blue on white. Then the pants were sitting. They were not as big of a heater as, or a hitter, I should say, as the jackets uh, for $1,000 pants. <laughs> 
wild. I know they are premium quality to protect you from actually from bikers slipping on uh, water or on the bikes itself and flying off. But you know, these were the rest of the items. Everything else was pretty much in stock. The switch shorts though did sell pretty quick as well. I didn't bother going for them. I wasn't really interested. And there were the band-aids, and there it ends right there. So as you guys saw, I was able to confirm uh, the four pack of band-aids. Yeah, four pack, twenty in each. So and eighty band-aids in total. I'll definitely be giving away one or two of them, depending if I can get any more in store. I'll be giving away more. Uh, I was going to actually uh, send another pack of four on the iPad that I'm actually recording myself on right now. But, you know, I ended up not doing it. I don't know why. I was like, yeah, I don't really want to spend no more money. But it is what it is. And I also regret not going for a large red and green hoodie s logo because they sat on the site for a minute ish right now i can't time travel so you know i wish i could but i can't uh i do regret not copping that one in a large but you know it is what it is once again oh they're not flipping for the crazy high they i feel like they are eventually going to go down but you know that is a separate video that i'll be releasing tomorrow i'll give you my input my two cents on this whole thing so if you guys copped this week let me know what you guys copped and if you slept let me know if you read it or not because some people don't i definitely would if i slept but you know all i did was get the band-aids which i'm super hyped about because yo it's funny as hell that they be doing this little shit. Oh, I can't wait to see everyone put it on their cheeks and shit. Anyways, that's it for you, your host with the most. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys cop down below. Peace.